Okay. So as always, the purpose of these meetings is to teach you the latest and most effective customer acquisition skills and strategies to make money for yourself and others. Same time, same place, every single week. Put it in your calendar if you haven't already. And with that, we will go ahead and get into it. So let me look at my notes here. Um, so this one actually is going to be mostly a demonstration. So last time we talked about affiliate marketing. If you weren't here last last week, what affiliate marketing means is that you sell a product online for somebody else and you get a percentage of that sale. And so we used a affiliate site called ClickBank that I showed you through, which I'm showing here. And essentially, you just sign up for an offer. You get a special link. And then you promote that link. And whenever somebody clicks on that link, then you get paid or somebody clicks on that link and then buys the product, then you get paid. Right. So it's very, very easy to get started. You don't have to, like, convince some business owner to sell stuff for them. It's you just you can get started within seconds and you don't ever have to talk to anybody if you don't want to. So that's kind of the benefit of affiliate marketing. So I, I talked to you about like how to look for offers and how to find your affiliate link last week. And if you missed that, by the way, the recording is available on my YouTube channel. You can go back and, and look at that. But this week, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to go about actually selling that offer. And so this is going to actually is probably going to be a few steps. You know, I don't think I'm going to get through a whole lot. Uh, like I, I'm not going to get through the whole process this week. So what I'm going to show you this week is how to know, like how to figure out how to sell it. And the, the thing is with any of these offers, if like, if we go and let's, let's click on top offers, for example, and as I talked about last week, if you have this gravity score is high, that means that the product is selling, right? It means that it's a good product and it's selling. And whatever sales page that the is already created for you is a good sales page. And so what you can do is basically that's like giving you the answers to the test. So you can look at the sales page and look at what they're saying on the sales page. And then you can use that same messaging in whatever you're promoting to get people to click on the sales page. So whether that's an ad or whether that's some like organic blog article or or whatever it is, a social media post, we can figure out exactly what messaging is going to work because we know from the the ad or uh, not the ad, the, the sales page, what's already working. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So specifically, what we're going to look at is a few different categories. So what, what we want are some, some particular triggers that are going to get people's interest and get people to want to click. So what we have to do is we have to get people from never from being strangers in most cases to getting their interest enough so that they click on the page and then they go watch the video or they read the sales page, which is our affiliate page. And so in order to get them from having no interest to clicking on that, we have to build that interest in them. And so what we're looking for in the sales page are a few things. One is their desires. What do they want? If I can help somebody get what they want and I can say, hey, do you want this thing in exactly the terms that that you think in, then you're probably going to listen. So, for example, I was just listening to a guy that had an offer for people that are business owners that work 50 or more hours a week and want to get their time back. And so if you say, hey, are you a business owner that works 50 hours a week and you want to get your time back? Well, you're you're speaking to exactly what their desire is. And so they're probably going to listen. So that's one of the categories. The next category is pains. So what are they in pain that is relevant to our offer that our offer can solve, this being the affiliate offer in this case. 
So if you're going to help guys that are working 50 hours a week, you say, are you stuck working 50 hours a week and you can't, you know, you can't spend time with your family. You can't do the things that you want to do. You can't take a vacation because then your business will fall apart, et cetera. Those are the kind of pains that somebody has in that situation. So we want to figure out in every, every offer is going to have different pain points and different ways of expressing those pain points. So we're going to look at that in our sales pages. We're going to look at challenges. So what is keeping people from getting the thing they want? Or what is, what is keeping people away from having their desire and stuck with their pain? Right. There's some reason that they haven't been able to get out of working 50 hours a week. Next is what they've tried. So chances are, if somebody is dealing with a problem or desires to get some outcome, they've tried things in the past to get to that outcome. And so we're going to try to, to like figure out what it is that they've tried that obviously has not worked or has not worked to the level that it, they would like because they still have the desire, they still have the pain. We're going to get into the cost. So if you don't solve this problem, what's it going to cost in the future? So for so to use our same example, while I'm working 50 hours a week, I can't spend time with my family. Well, maybe I end up getting a divorce. Maybe my kids end up resenting me. Maybe they end up going crazy and, and becoming drug addicts or something because, you know, it is, is rebellion against their dad who didn't spend enough time with them. Right. What are the costs like? What what are the potential things that bad things that could happen in the future that the person is afraid of as a result of this? What is the unique mechanism? So. Um, this is th looking at specifically your sales page. What is the way that the product gets them the result that they want? What is the product, the way that the product solves their problem or gets their desire? So for example, let, let me take like a weight loss example, cause that's a big one. If you say, Hey, I have this new program that helps you lose weight. And the way that it works is that, you eat a bunch of vegetables and you go to the gym six times a week. Well, that's probably not going to sell very well because even though it probably works great, right? Like people who follow that program probably get great results. But the thing is, it's not unique. It's, the, it's something that people already know. But if you say that there's some special fat loss trigger in the microbiome and you need a specific set of nutrients in order to trigger that to boost your metabolism. And, you know, that's something that's new and it's something that people haven't heard before. They're more likely to listen because it goes again. It goes with this what they've tried. Right. So the person who's trying to lose weight has probably tried going to the gym. They've probably tried all sorts of diets. They've probably tried a bunch of fat loss pills and none of it has worked or at least none of it has worked well enough for their goals. And so what you need to do is to set yourself apart that, hey, I have a new way that is different than what you've tried that has not worked. Next thing you need is proof. We did a whole lesson on this a few weeks back. Can go back to the YouTube if you want to take a look at that. But that's like evidence that could be studies, scientific studies. It could be quotes from people who are well known. It could be. Um, it, it could be testimonials, right, or case studies from people who have used the, the product and it's worked for them, et cetera. Things, just things that, that give logical evidence that this is real, this is legitimate, and this is going to work for you. And then finally, the last thing is urgency. That is, why should you take action on this now? The thing with most people is that most people are procrastinators. So even if you convince them that this is exactly the right thing, that this is going to solve their problem, it's going to get them their goals. This is the way, this is the, the magic holy grail that they've been missing. A lot of people still look at it and say, yeah, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Right. And then what happens tomorrow? And then they put it off again. Like that's 
kind of the way that most people work. So you have to give them a good reason why they can't do it tomorrow, why they have to do it today. So that's what we're looking for, um, right? And so what we're going to find is instead of trying to figure out all this ourselves, we're going to look at the answers to the test by looking at the sales page, right? Because the sales page, if it's a high sell, a well-selling product, then it's going to check all of these boxes somewhere. So what I'm going to do is, well, I'm just going to leave this here. Actually, I would, if I was doing this for real, I'm going to do that. Give you kind of like a, a quick run through of this. If I was going to do this completely, I'd put this into a spreadsheet. But let us let's try one of these offers. And so most of these offers are health related, which is a little difficult with the ad platforms because they're very strict about health related claims. So I'm going to try to find something that is not health related. So in fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to like page two. Well, yeah, okay. I'm going to go to page two. Slimming tea, fungus dropper, ageless knees, weight loss. Okay, let's try this one. Soulmate sketch. I've never seen this before, by the way. So this is just as new to me as it is to you. So what I what I like to see is a video. So this one is video based. And so I'm going to watch the video. Can you guys hear the video audio? Give me a one in the chat if you can hear that. Give me a two in the chat if you can't hear it. Because I'm, I'm not sure. This is a new software that I'm using to for the presentation. I'm not totally sure. Can't hear it. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can figure this out. Let me see. Okay, looks like people cannot hear it. And I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Okay. In that case, yeah, this, this makes it a little bit more difficult, but... Oh, well, it's got the it's got the text down here, so I think that'll be all right. Hopefully you guys can see that. In fact, I could probably zoom in a little bit. OK, and I'm going to actually I'm going to refresh this so we can see from the beginning. Okay, so it starts off with the fear or like a cost, right? So you miss out on like you, you um, let's say, don't recognize your soulmate and miss out on the like the relationship you were meant to have. And then I would actually put that in exact words. I would go back and listen to it and put it in the exact words, but I'm, I'm doing this kind of quick and dirty here. Okay, so there's my desire to find the one. <laughs> okay, that's interesting.
Okay, so here's a unique mechanism. So um, a psychic will draw a picture of what your soulmate looks like. So you recognize him when he appears, right? That's the, that seems to be the mechanism, assuming I'm understanding this correctly and I may have to revise this later. Okay, so now we get into you're single, so that's that's kind of a pain. Tired of dating apps is, um, well, that's kind of a pain, like tired of dating apps. And it's also what they've tried, right, it's dating apps. Okay, so maybe the pain is you're in a relationship and don't know if your partner is your soulmate. Not sure of the ethics of dumping your partner because of a drawing by a psychic on the internet, but <laughs> we'll, we'll suspend our ethical judgment for a little while here. I told you I picked this at random. Okay, so there's a, there's like a part of the unique mechanism, I suppose, is like know when and where you could meet your soulmate. Okay, so we got some very weak proof in here, right? We heard industry leading psychic. They didn't tell us like, I, I mean, are there like industry awards for psychics? I have, I have no idea. Um, and then they also said like other people have had, have, have been amazed by how accurate it is. Like other people amazed. That's kind of, this very weak proof, but it's, it's kind of on the proof side. Okay, so that's a little bit about the unique the unique mechanism is I don't even remember that it uses high frequency something I, I don't remember all that but like I would write that down exactly what they just said here because that's the mechanism by which this works. Okay, so here's some stronger proof. We have some, some like, looks like, it you know, looks like emails, email screenshots. So we could, if you wanted to get really thorough, you could actually screenshot these yourself and use this in your promotion. Although I, I don't think it's necessary. That's kind of going a little too far. Okay, so maybe like a desire is the kind of the, the feeling the like excitement and feeling of clarity when you find out who your true soulmate is. That's that's kind of the implication. They're showing it with the girl's face. It's like, whoa.
Okay, so this is a case study. Like, this is proof. So what, what's her name? Trista? So I can say, like, Trista story. Okay, so here's some, this is some desire language, right? Motivation. The motivation she felt in the, what's it like? Reignite the spark. The spark we helped her reignite. Okay, so another, another key. Okay, so that's that's some pain language. It's like um, you're the one who cares more in the relationship. Yeah, like your your partner doesn't care about you as much as you care about him. Okay. Tired. There's another pain point. Tired of being the one to blame and the one to be torn apart. And they're, they're using this language intentionally, by the way, because for their target audience, this is something that chances are a lot of them are feeling, right? And so they're, they're using this story of this girl to relate to their intended audience who also feels like they're being blamed and they're being torn apart. Okay, so there's a, a desires a handsome man. Okay, instead of wasting time on the wrong people. That's a pain, right? Wasting time on the wrong people. And it's specifically because this is obviously more, more targeted towards women. There's a kind of an unspoken cost there that um, like th that they're going to end up being like old and alone, right? You're going to, you're going to waste your best years on this guys that aren't worth it. And then, you know, when you're, you're old and nobody wants you, then you're going to be, um, then you're stuck and you missed your chance. That's, that's like the subtext of this. Okay, so waste energy on flings and one night stands. So that's probably something they've tried, flings and one night stands, right? And that's probably, you could put that in the pain column too because of all the, of all the shame and embarrassment and, and self-hatred and stuff that goes with that. There you go. There's a desire relationship that will put all your past experiences to shame. Okay. And then I haven't put anything for challenges yet, but the, the clearly the biggest challenge that, that, that that's, this whole thing is talking about is that you, you can't recognize the right person, right? You're not sure who the right person is because you don't have a psychic drawing to tell you so.
Okay. And actually, they didn't give us any urgency at all. Which kind of surprises me. I thought there would be some urgency. Like, normally they would say something like, well, psychic, what's her name, isn't going to be doing this for very long, so you have to get in today while it's still available. Something like that. And then... Okay, so like as seen on Yahoo News, TikTok, <laughs> TikTok as if that's like, oh, something was on TikTok. There, that means it's credible. And the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. So this is building credibility, except for the TikTok. I think that was dumb. So let's see. have been featured on TV, right? That's a, a sort of proof, kind of, sort of. And then, okay, yeah, so they didn't give us any urgency at all, except for when you, when you talk about cost, it's kind of an implied urgency, right? Because if you don't do this now, then you may meet your soulmate tomorrow not recognize him and be alone and miserable for the rest of your life because you didn't take action on this, right? They're not saying that explicitly, but that is kind of implied. So I would actually, I could write that in as something like, um, it is just my own kind of inference from this. You might meet your soulmate tomorrow and pass him by because you don't know what he looks like, right? So you could meet your soulmate at any time. So you should get this drawing immediately so that you don't risk losing your soulmate forever. So cool. So does this make sense? Give me a yes in the chat if this makes sense. What we're doing is we're coming up with our messaging right? We're, we're looking at what messaging can we use to get people's interest and get them to watch this video. And the reason that we're taking the messaging from the video is because the video is already proven. We already know that, it, that this messaging works. So we're just going to borrow from it, essentially, rather than try new messaging that may or may not work. This has already been tested, so we might as well use this. Awesome. So what we're going to do, I think I'm going to, I'm going to finish here for tonight, but what we're going to do next week is I'm going to show you how to turn this into copy, essentially how to turn it into an ad or a social media post or a blog post that then gets people to click on your link. So I'll give you just a little bit of a preview of that. So we can say, well, like we can start with any one of these. So are you in a relationship and you don't know if your partner is your true soulmate and maybe you're afraid that it's gonna keep you uh, from meeting the person that you're actually supposed to be with, right? That could be the beginning of an ad, for example. Well, what if you could have a picture of what your soulmate looks like so that you don't miss him when he f appears in your life. So we can create our ad or our blog post or whatever it is, our social media post based on all of these things and we can come up with some really good stuff that's gonna work really well. So that's it for today. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the chat. But your homework for tonight, and as always, guys, do the homework. Seriously, it will benefit you greatly because you're going to forget most of this. Like, you know, research shows that you'll forget like 90% of what you just learned within a day or two if you don't practice it. But if you practice it, you retain it, and you have, you not only do you retain it, but you actually get some experience, which is super helpful. So your homework is to 
go through this process with a product on ClickBank and use a different product. I'm going to write that. Use it. A different product, not the product that I just showed you. Find another product on ClickBank. It can be health related if you want, doesn't matter. But just go through this process. Go through um, what are the, the desires, the pains, the challenges, what they've tried in the past, the cost, et cetera. Go through each of these categories and just put phrases from the video or from the sales page into each of these categories. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next week.